Inside of today's video, we're going to be looking at all things Charlie, the brand new chromatic brawler coming with the next season. We're going to be looking at her best builds, so the best gadgets, star powers, and of course, the gears as well. We're going to be taking a look at her best matchups and also her best counters, and just overall ranking her how strong she'll be and whether it's actually worth picking up the next brawl pass. So let's jump into it. Charlie's first gadget is called Spiders. So upon activation, three spiders will spawn right on top of Charlie and chase down the nearest opponent. They have like a swipe attack animation that will deal around 800 damage per swipe which is actually pretty decent but the main thing is is that there's three of them and that they have 2200 hp so it's just really good for wasting the opponent's ammo i think it's going to be especially good against sharpshooters when you're up close to them so i feel like this gadget is probably going to be the better one charlie's second gadget is called personal space so whenever charlie activates this gadget she puts herself into a cocoon and heals up 50 percent of her health so i feel like this one's a little bit weird because it takes six seconds without the opponents shooting you shooting your cocoon for you to then reappear out of it which it's very counterintuitive. You don't want to be just sitting there for six seconds. You may as well just start your health regen process already. I feel like this gadget's going to be better as more of a reactive one, say, if an aggro is literally in your face. And then you can pop this gadget and give yourself a little bit of extra HP. But it's a little bit awkward and feels awkward when you actually come out of the cocoon as well. So now moving on to the star powers, starting off with the first star power called Digestive. So whenever Charlie cocoons an opponent, they will actually lose 50% of their HP. HP. I think this one is very good. It can be so annoying, especially if you're running at an opponent and say if you have no ammo or you're just really weak, you can just literally cocoon them and just take half their ammo away. And whilst they're actually slowly diminishing in HP, or of course the opponents are trying to free them, uh, then of course they're going to be actually weaker when they reappear and you're going to be able to heal up. So I feel like it's definitely a win-win with a star power. It is very strong. So jumping into Charlie's second gadget called Slimy. So whenever Charlie throws out her cocoon, she will actually leave behind a slime trail and it will slow the opponents for five seconds. So this is like a mini, I don't know, residue gadget in a way. So even if you miss your cocoon, it will leave behind that slime trail. So I feel like if you use this star power, it's definitely more beneficial to try and use your super every single time at max distance to get the most benefit out of a slow. I feel like this one can be pretty good, especially if her super is easy to hit. So Charlie's best build for me is actually quite easy. In terms of gadgets, I think spiders is going to be by far the better gadget overall. I feel like the personal space one can be okay, but it's basically a loot ice block but it just feels so much more clunkier. And we'll have to see how it plays out. But Spiders actually seems pretty good, especially just wasting the opponent's ammo and can be actually pretty good in game modes like Heist. When you go over to her star powers, then I think Digestive will be the better one overall, especially against those tanky units. You can literally remove half their HP if you connect the super. And the super's actually pretty easy to hit, in my opinion. So I feel like this one could get more value. But on certain maps, I think Slimy could get some good value as well. So both star powers, I think we'll have to test out. In terms of the gears, speed gear was actually nerfed, so you get a lot more value out of the damage again. Also, with the gadget gear as well, that's going to be a better combination for sure. Okay, now let's talk about all things Charlie, all of her mechanics, her best matchups, and her counters. So, start off with her mechanics then. Her main attack, it deals 1,600 damage. A lot of people straight away when the Brawl Talk was released spoke about how she was very similar to Cole. In a way, she is, but of course, it doesn't pierce through. And whenever it hits an opponent, it will return to you quicker. So, the DPS potential is huge with Carl you have to make sure that there's a wall close by so then it's able to return quicker but no with Charlie you're able just to hit an opponent and it come back instantly so that's gonna be pretty good with her it takes five hits for her to get super which is pretty decent I'll say for a ranged unit typically I think you get your super a little bit quicker in comparison you know to brawlers like Maisie Maisie gets super in three uh, shots and she has very similar range to her so it takes a little bit of a while to get the super but I think the super is very strong in comparison to all the other ones I think he has huge potential people are really sleeping on it it literally it can take half the HP from tanks or just every single brawler and you can just leave it there there's just so many situations I think that this super will clutch the game. We'll go into that uh, a little bit later on. So the super, the cocoon health has 8,400 HP, which is quite a lot. And it slowly diminishes in HP or the uh, enemy team can shoot the cocoon and, of course, free your teammate up a lot quicker. So 
The thing is, even if you want to free your teammate, he's still going to be respawning with 50% less HP if you have the first star power. But not only that, you're using up a lot of ammo. So in a lot of different scenarios, that's going to be really huge for you because if your opponents waste ammo, they won't have ammo to shoot you and you and your teammates can then advance and push the opponents back. So I think just that mechanic alone is really, really strong. Again, you can compare this to just simple brothers like Mr. P. If they waste the ammo on the porters, then of course they're pretty screwed in that sense. So, the next one is the range. It is pretty long. I've already compared it to brothers like Maisie. I think it's like literally a tile or so uh, longer than Maisie. So, just in that kind of mid-range. So, she will get outranged heavily by a lot of other good mids, in my opinion. So, I don't know. She's going to be a little bit of a weird one. I feel like she's just going to be like a lane slash mid even. She will be a lot better on lane and some of the other sharpshooters because again you can get your attack back a lot quicker and it's a lot easier to get really fast damage with this brawler so i think charlie can be a mid and a lane so this is pretty interesting uh, to really see when she goes into the game she has 6600 hp which is exactly the same as a gray so again the kind of mid hp not really on the higher side but not on the shorter side so not squishy but not tanky either and then again 1600 damage is similar to mr p so kind of compare it's not really the most damage but you can get a lot of course if the opponent's really close to you and if you combine that of course with your gadget as well that can give you some extra dps that can be pretty decent so now moving on to the best counters to this new brawler charlie so of course whenever i'm doing the best counters i think the most obvious thing is being outranged right so if you're on a really open map of course the sharpshooters are going to be able to counter you so you're not going to be picking charlie on maps like shooting star for example it's just not going to work because there's just so many sharpshooters out there that can outrange charlie so again like you think of Maisie, Maisie's never used on those really long range bounce maps so Charlie is fairly safe to say that she's not going to be usable on those maps. I think a good lane counter to Charlie will be Sandy because Sandy can pierce through the spiders and overall Sandy's used a lot on those grassy maps and I think that's going to be Charlie's biggest weakness is grassy maps because she, of course she has a very straight, pro well she literally has a straight projectile so she can't really scout bushes that well so I think lanes like Sandy need to should be able to push back charlie pretty easily i actually put pam as a good counter to charlie because it seems like charlie doesn't have a lot of dps at range so if pam or another high hp brawler like meg maybe can keep the distance in that mid-range battle i think they should be able to keep charlie back pretty instantly well pretty easily until charlie gets super so if charlie can hit super at max range then it might be hard for a brawler like pam because removing that much hp is pretty tough i think carl's gonna be a fantastic counter i think pretty much any brawler that has like a gadget or something that can get on top of charlie pretty quickly i think that uh they're gonna be able to counter because of course she doesn't have like a knockback she doesn't have a pushback so they're gonna be able to take her down pretty swiftly i think in terms of another counter like max of course just any brawler like Stu, maybe that has like a dash mechanic to dodge the super can be pretty good I think maybe low HP brawlers as well can be decent against Charlie because she won't get the most benefit out of her super. And then lastly, throwers because Charlie has no way to close the throwers down. So now moving on to her best matchups overall. And I think this is actually one of the toughest ones I've had to deal with in terms of all the new brawlers. I don't know. I feel like it'd be a little bit hard to predict her best matchups. I think she's going to be pretty strong, but at the same time, it's hard to pinpoint exactly. But one, one I can definitely pinpoint is maybe sharpshooters on medium range maps. So... The thing that uh, definitely caught my eye is with her hypercharge and also with her gadget. It spawns spiders. So, of course, that can waste the opponent, uh, opponent's ammo, which is really good against those sharpshooters. But at the same time, they're going to be able to outrange her. So, it's going to be a little bit of an awkward one. Again, it's going to counter sharpshooters if she's more of a lane. So, we'll have to see whether she's a mid or a lane when it comes down to the real game. I think in terms of matchups as well, tanks are actually going to be a decent matchup for her because I think that uh, removing 50% of their HP is actually going to be very strong. And tanks, of course, will feed Charlie super really fast. So, if she can get a cycle of her cocoon pretty easily i think uh that she's gonna be just destroy tanks of course on non-bushy maps so maybe if you've got wall breaker or just more a little bit more of an open map so maps not like double swoosh then she can take down tanks pretty easily in my opinion and then finally of course like otis or just other tank counters she's gonna have a good matchup against them so now let's talk about all things how strong she'll be in the meta so for me i think charlie's going to be a pretty strong brawler i don't think she's going to be game breaking whatsoever mainly because she doesn't seem to like do the most damage she can do a lot of damage in heist removing the high safe down in like 
15 seconds, so of course you don't want to leave Charlie on the safe. The thing about uh, me, I mean, she could easily be a really strong brawler, but she just doesn't have anything glaringly OP. Maybe her cocoon could be very strong, we'll have to wait and see, but for five shots to get her super, I don't know, I'll probably put her towards maybe like the A tier, a high A tier, I think that would be one thing, because again, I feel like she'll just be a brawler, kind of like Maisie, where the right player can absolutely pop off with this brawler, but at the same time, it's just normally a better option, I think that's where she'll kind of fare, but she'll be very versatile just because of that, uh, just because of her mechanics, right? So I think she'll be like an A tier brawler. Also, her hypercharge is a little bit lackluster. I know I didn't really talk about it too much, but because it just literally spawns three spiders, I just don't think that's really going to do too much. It's not going to terrorize. I thought the spiders could have like 4,000 HP or something, but they only have 2,000 HP, so they're going to be, be able to take down, uh, be taken down so much quicker. And yeah, the hypercharge, of course, is good for any brawler because it gives them a stat boost as well but i just don't feel like you're gonna get hypercharge a lot with charlie because it will take like 12 13 shots to get it it's a long time so that's gonna be it for today's video guys i think charlie's gonna be a pretty strong not game breaking but definitely an option that you want to pick up with a brawl pass because I, I think she's pretty cool to play i think she'll be very fun i'm definitely looking forward to get my hands on her so that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time